Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the latest set of uh, Tableau interview questions. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So to start off, uh, this is the latest one that I have uh, received. Uh, the first question is, what is a retrospective meeting? So we can consider this as a general uh, no, a status update meeting. And also is this depends from team to team, you know, what is the term they are referring to? Uh, some call it as a scrum calls, scrum, uh, some call it as a stand up meetings, some call it as, you know, or brainstorming sessions, some call it as retrospective meetings. So it is a place where, you know, the group or the team sits together and discuss on the progress of the work that is assigned to them. Just so that is as simple as that. Okay. So next question was, uh, where can we see these options in Tableau? Okay. So first one is show sheets as tabs, show selection, include external files. Okay. So here, uh, when we try to publish a workbook here, first we need to do is sign in. So after signing in, when we click on this publish workbook and sign in, that is when you will see this pop-up where all of these options will be available. Okay. So it is important you remember the navigation. Okay. So next is update workbook to use published data source. Where is the option in Tableau desktop or Tableau server? I mean, in both he is asking. So if at all, see currently, if I am going to my sheet here, I'm using this sample superstore. So where is this sample superstore? It is available in my local machine, right? Now I want to replace this with a published data source, which means what that data source is in your server. So you want to replace it. So first thing that you need to do is add that data source. Like say, as we go to this add data source. So here, what do we do this? We select the Tableau server option. So again, you need to connect. So once you connect to that, you will get a pop-up from where you need to select the data source. And once you do that, so for example, I'm just taking a sample file here itself, okay? From maybe Excel or whatever I'll just take. Okay, so, so assume this is my file from the server. So once you get that, okay? So once you, once you get it, you will see two data sources. One is your actual data source that you are currently connected to. Second one is your published data source. So here you will have a different symbol, Tableau symbol, you will have Tableau logo. So all you need to do is click on this and go to replace option. Okay, so here this is disabled because of different types. So you can click on replace data source option and you can simply select that option. Okay, so that way you can work it. Okay, so if I just select it, another one. Now you see here, we got two, right? Now this is sample superstore two. I want to replace it. I mean, uh, I've currently uh, used this data source example. So this is my ideal one, right? Because I'm not using that. Now if I click on this, replace data source, you need to select current data source is this replacement this whatever the data source that you want to choose so here it will be your target or the data source coming from the server that way you can do and connect it to published data source same thing you can perform at the server level also you can edit the data source and do it from there so that is what you need to explain here next is what is the correct syntax for fixed and remaining explain me what they are so he has given here three set of questions which are related to LODs and is asking us what is the correct syntax for fixed. Now let us see what are this and what is the output that we are getting for each of them so that we can make a conclusion. So I'm taking category here. Okay, so we'll just paste this here. Okay, so we'll come one by one. Okay, so I'm commenting this. I'm commenting this as well and we'll keep only this. So instead of profit, I'm taking sales. Okay. So now I'm just renaming this as LOD. Okay. 
okay so now when i bring this into my view it is giving me total sales across the value because we are not specifying any dimensional value here now even if i call the dimension like say category i'm trying to pull it is giving me the same value because <clears throat> you are computing on the whole without specifying the dimension so it's like you know, at your table level next is at a country level you are specifically providing like say this is your actual uh, fixed lod where you are also specifying at which dimension you need the lod to be you know aggregated or your fixed to be calculated so i'm just taking category instead of country i am taking sales instead of profit simple so this is your stranded lod expression so you are computing at a category level now at that particular level you are getting simple okay so like if we know one point whatever the dimension we are specifying in the calculation it has to be used in the view if you don't use that again we will get it on the whole okay so that is again one way so your this is your fixed lod this is like computing on the whole so even you can write uh, the same thing the first one in the third format as well so it should give you the same result okay i'm computing this uh, i mean commenting this and i'm taking sales now see the result click on apply again we are getting the sales at the whole level on the whole right even if i remove it will be same okay so first and third will give you same result in second one because you are specifying the dimension at which you need aggregation it is trying to give you the correct value so this is your actual uh, syntax for fixed other are at a table level so that's here now what is the difference between extract filter and a data source filter so extract filter means filter that you are trying to apply to your data i mean to your extract sorry so now see here if i apply a filter at this level to identify my scope of data so this is on your live data right so you are applying on the live but if you click on this extract you have an option called as edit if i go here again you have an option called as a filter so if you add any filter from here this will become your filter for that particular extract that you are creating so that is the difference here in this okay so next is below hope this is clear for you guys next is below question is correct or not explain me so he has given a standard you uh, know uh, calculation if status is equal to close then sum of profit so this is correct according to us but you can check what is the requirement but syntactically it should be correct okay so write a calculation for year over year growth and ytd in tableau again very important so all we can do is for year over year growth you need to find out your current year sales okay your previous year sales and then you need to do calculation like say cy minus py by py into 100 something like this okay so current year how will you get here okay if year of order date is equal to year of today then you need to take sales same thing for previous year you need to take here year of order date minus one so this will go to previous year one okay so then you need to aggregate so you can take some at calculation level within the calculation or outside up to you however you want to you can calculate ytd is year till date that is what you need to find out so for ytd what we can do all we can do is year of order date is equal to year of today so what will happen with this you'll get all the data for your current year right agreed current year now we need all the dates that are less than today because we are telling year till date so we just need to add one more calculation to this and order date should be less than today that's it so this will give you all the dates that are in current year and are also less than today so by doing that you should get the value so that is your ytd and yboy calculation
okay next is where do you see export and import options in tableau so if i go to tableau here once you create a report or a dashboard okay we uh, i can go to file and i have an option called as export as versions export as powerpoint and also import options so you need to explain to the interviewer where they are and in which situations you can use this okay so that's about the questions that were you know uh, asked recently i don't remember the name of the company that was asked so i'm just sharing you the questions so i felt these are pretty new or uncommon questions that are there so this should be really helpful video for all of you guys if you find the video helpful please like like and share a comment so that you know it motivates me to create another video see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day